Welcome back, family and friends, to another episode of Independent Joe. And tonight, what I have for you is a Rye 3. Um, I only have one other Rye 3. Um, I heard that they, this is one of their normal ones that they come out with. This one right here, I, I bought with my good friend uh, from Bourbon Bites, uh, Clifton. Uh, he had recommended it. Uh, he said it was a... Uh, I guess a friend of his maybe that that was doing the re, doing a pick or a group or something like that that was doing a pick it was it was a while ago uh, we had met up over there at uh, at uh, this uh, mission and um, also I saw that it was bottled 007 so I had to get it <laughs> it's just those dumb little things that make me buy a bottle um, I, I bought another bottle. It wasn't a dumb purchase or anything. It was, but but I I was looking through the numbers and it was bottle number one. I was like, okay, now I guess I have to buy it now so that bottle number one ain't gonna be here. Which it doesn't really matter. They, I mean, they probably put a whole bunch of bottles in there, write write down what numbers they are and all that. But anyway, uh, these are finished in rum casts. Uh, they do not specify. I believe they don't specify. I never saw or see them specify what uh, rum they use or what cast they use but I do know that rye 3 is a blend of three whiskeys three whiskeys that are blended together three different mash bills uh, three different age statements and uh, yeah from from three different uh, from three different distilleries so it unfortunately it doesn't say like either like what region that they're they're getting these from so they could be from anywhere i guess can they be canadian um I, i've heard that there's canadian whiskey in here but it says product of the united states it doesn't say uh I, you know blended in the united states so i i or usa so i don't know whether or not that would matter or anything I, it's just uh, i'm just curious and wondering uh, where they're blending this from. So, uh, Virgi they, they, they're out of Virginia Beach, Rye 3. And I guess there's it's just a small little uh, bottling company that um, sources whiskeys from various places. Uh, according to this, they use only uh, ultra premium whiskeys. Uh, so you're getting, uh, this is their mantra, uh, one ultra premium whiskey, three times the enjoyment. So they're getting them from different places. Who knows where they're getting them from, but um, it would be kind of nice to know. I mean, I mean, maybe that's part of their thing is they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know the age because there's no age statements on these. The three doesn't stand for three years. So I'm assuming they're various in age. And it seems like I'm, I'm over here rambling about this one, but uh, this is the one I'm actually to have in the glass here. And this is what I'm supposed to be uh, reviewing. But this is the cigar series now. Now, this one I've had for... A while uh, at least a year and a half and it's not not even been uh, drank, uh, drank that much I haven't bought another bottle since since this bottle so not to say that it's bad it's just uh, it, it does have a lot of mintiness to it different things that I'm I, I you know I'm a I'm a rye person as long as it's close to a bourbon drinkers rye um, I like bourbon drinkers rye Jack Daniels um, other ones too so uh, but I won't get into all that right now. Right now, uh, the Cigar Series, Rye 3. This one right here is also special. And I'm assuming that these are just three different... For this Rye 3, because it wouldn't be... It would be weird to have three different blended, then finished and finished and finished. So I'm assuming these are just three different whiskeys finished in Madeira casks, which is a, which is a wine cask. That's probably where you're going to get maybe your ra your raisin or your richness and your t and your tones in your nose as well as the rum cask. Again, they don't state where or what rum cask they're using. And then uh naranja, naranja, naranja. Uh it's a Mexican um it's a Mexican orange liqueur uh, that they also use uh, for uh, naranja cask. So, oh shoot! And then they also, to finish it off, they also put French oak staves. It's a triple cask finish and uh, French oak staves. 
Okay, so they got so much stuff going on with this. Uh, I'm curious, man. I'm curious on what it's going to taste like. Shoot, an, a Mexican. It's like an authentic Mexican orange liqueur. Shoot. I'm, I'm down. And it's at 120.6, so which... No, 120.2. 121.2. So that's pretty cool, too. I mean, it's it's got a good proof point. Uh, a lot of blend in there. I, I snuck a sniff on it earlier uh, while, it, while it's been uh, sitting. And you, you definitely, at that proof point, you would think that you're going to get maybe an ethanol punch or something like that, and it, it, it just doesn't happen, so... Uh, yeah, I'm excited to taste these. Just want to say thank you again for supporting the channel. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, all that stuff if you like this type of content. And make sure this Friday night, um, go here, come back here, come back here to this channel and watch myself and uh, Sean from the Bourbon Junkies uh, get it on in a, in a whiskey kind of way. Uh, we send each other uh, whiskeys, hand delivered each other whiskeys, and we are, we're gonna find out uh, whose palate is maybe a little bit better or, or somewhat better or not bad at all or better at all. I don't know how that works. But we're gonna taste each other's whiskey and, and see what our different interests are and stuff like that. And that's, that's mainly what it's for. It's gonna be a fun, fun night of tasting each other's whiskey and, and and figure, trying to figure out what it is and what we're tasting and stuff like that. So make sure that uh, you go to the lives or what, whatever uh, section and it should be in there, uh, the thumbnail, and then uh, just click reminder and then, and then come back and, and watch that. But yes, thank you again for your support and thank you Patreons for all you do for this channel. Love you guys and I can't wait to see you there. And uh, come, come, come root for Sean, that's okay too, that's all right. You're rooting for Sean. Um, I would too. I'm rooting for Sean. Shoot, you know I, I hate I hate winning on my channel. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun one. This is gonna be a fun one. Uh, got a whole new mess of little clips and stuff that I I like to play during the during our you know my battles and stuff with different channels. And uh, check out the other ones too because uh, there's a lot of fun ones on there um, that I've, 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 I've done with other uh, channels as well as well as uh, people in, uh, in the chat, people who uh, support the channels and then who come and hang out. Uh, I've battled a, a few that don't have channels, so check them out, man. Come, come and check it out. <sighs> I digress, and here we go. Again, this is out of Virginia, blending three different whiskeys. Um, and let's see how they did with this blend. Um, I thought this one was okay. Uh, I, I have a lot of different ryes to, to taste. This, I just remember this one being a little bit on the minty side, a little bit drying, and um, just something that um, I'm okay with. It's just, it's just I, you know, I prefer a different profile. I couldn't, I, I couldn't get into this one. Uh, not, not, nothing against rye three. Um, I, I like all whiskeys, and I'm hoping that I'm gonna like this one. This one's really nice too, the color. It's a nice deep amber. It's got the glen. Look how it coats, man. Coats really well, I'll tell you that. So that's that's good. It's a good start. I'll, I'll give it that. It's, it's a good start and um, I can't wait to taste it. So let me tell you what I'm getting on the nose. I do get some of that like orange candy. There's like an orange peel uh, on the nose. It's rich. You could tell it's it's gonna be it's it's gonna be thick. Really nice. Getting a little bit of like a cinnamon cinnamon spice on that. A lot like like you should put uh, cinnamon on that orange peel. It's almost I don't want to say perfumey, but it has a like an like an orange blossom <laughs> type smell to it, like a flower. But it's not it's not overly floral. There's a lot of sweetness on it. I, I'm not getting any barrel on the nose. It's more of a sweet, uh, flowery, uh, orange peel, cinnamon, but uh, not o overall. Um, it smells nice. It's really nice. Really nice aroma. Cheers, everybody. I'm going in for a taste. OK. 
okay? Hmm. That's a lot going on. Hmm. Weird. I don't know if it's the cigar series name moniker on, on, on the bottle, but I am getting like a hint of like a sweet uh, marmalade cigar. <laughs> like if you drizzle, drizzled a cigar with marmalade on it, but it's sweet. Uh, there was a little bit of an ethanol punch on it, but it was like really temporary. The ethanol kind of dissipated really fast and just went into the, that flavor. I won't say it's coating very well. It's it's really nice, but it's not like overly coating. It's not like where I'm talking and I just can't talk right, being like spitting everywhere because I got so much saliva building up because of how much how much uh, how many oils are on it, but. It does seem like it does have a lot of a lot of coating in and it's uh it's it's coating decently it's not over coating it's not under coating it's just it's just good it's a good coat second sip still some of that drizzled uh coated cigar with marmalade Here's the uh, bottle right here, and uh, yep, 121.6, it's got its little story on the back of what it what it has on the front, it's just printed on the back, it's, uh, this one actually tells you like how they grab three different uh, ultra premium whiskeys and then blend them together and how it's a product of the USA. Um, hmm. Nice. I, I, it, it'd be nice if, if they would say, you know, like if they do stated distillation, it would be pretty cool. But it's it's nice. Um, after it coats in the front and it goes to the back, you're getting a little bit more of, a, you're getting some oak on this. And that's probably attributed to the uh, French oak staves that they put on there, that they put in there. It's nice. Um, I, I do have a Crossroads and a, a few others that, that have, and, and that French oak is definitely standing out to me. Um, for some reason, French oak for my, for my palate does, it does seem to dry it just a little bit more um, than I would like. Um, I don't. I wonder how it would have been if they they didn't put the staves in there. But I am getting that a little bit. Uh, an interesting thing about the uh, naranja, the Mexican uh, orange liqueur, is not very many. Um, I guess distilleries are are blending with that. Uh, you got as far as I know, there's only three. I think Breckenridge is one. You got Conviction. And then you got um, Heaven's Door that are actually coming out or using those those uh, orange casks uh, in their blends or their finishing, sorry. But overall, I think it's a nice whiskey. Now, here comes a tough part. How, how do you how do you rate it? How do you say it's worth the buy? Because you are talking about three ultra premium whiskeys that you don't know what they are which make one you know fant fantastic fantastic whiskey so how do you how do you um how do you how do you price that how do you you know um because you're also paying the ultra uh, ultra premium price of a buck 20 and do you really 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 do i think it's worth a buck 20 Am I mad I bought it? Would I buy another one? Hmm. Now, if you take, <coughs> whoa, if you take a good size drink, I was talking as, as it was going down, not a good thing to do. But if you take a good size drink, this is almost thick enough, like you're gonna chew it. Ooh, that orange is really standing out now. 
I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's worth it for me. I'm gonna say I like it. I like it a lot. And I'm gonna say it's uh, for me. It's worth a purchase. Um, I think if you are a cigar smoker, uh, I am not. I think this is thick enough. This is rich enough. There's enough flavors going on here that it would hold up to a, a, a cigar. So if you're a cigar a smoker, and I think this is what they're trying to say, is that we put enough in this bottle to uh, to hold up to a flavor of a cigar and maybe enhance the cigar or enhance the uh, the whiskey. So give it a shot uh, if you can. If you uh, have so you know if you have a friend or somebody who has this bottle or if they have it at uh, maybe your local pub give it a shot first try it and if you like it I, I would recommend buying a bottle but then you're ready now you're in on uh, de depending because they're like I said if you, it's a it's a buck 20 you go to a bar a buck 20 whiskey what do you think that that pour is gonna be how much it's gonna be so you gotta like I would go the friend route first and if if not i don't think it's a bad buy in my opinion i wish there was more information on it and again I, i'm a big stickler for that i just i don't know what it is uh maybe it's a, a mental thing i just i just would like to know like hey you know um is this is this kentucky whiskey is this Indiana whiskey, uh, you can't tell with this. You, this is like all over the place. I, there's no way I would be able to t tell you state of distillation. And there's no way that I could send this in a battle uh, with somebody because we don't know what, I don't know what's in it. I couldn't even say if they're right. So that's, you know, for uh, for those of us who play these these games <laughs> with our whiskey and, 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 and send it to each other, there's... This would just be uh, one where state of distillation, distillery, all that stuff is just out the window. It's just like, because this is not a distillery, this is a, a bottling company. So, but I think they did a pretty good job on this one. Overall, nice, good. Uh, recommend if you don't if you don't care about the particulars, if you're not a whiskey nerd or whatever, and you don't you don't care about, or not that you don't care, but. Uh, it is it is not a priority as, as long as the whiskey's good type type of person as long as whiskey's good you're fine then it's it's a good I, I'll say it's a good whiskey that orange is it just shines I'm gonna look for I'm gonna look for that now that Mexican uh, orange liqueur chews really nicely it's, it's it's nice that cinnamon spice is a rich deep cinnamon it's almost peppery but it's not it is a rich cinnamon and I don't even I don't even think that's a thing but it that's how I describe it I like it I like it I think I'll be going back to this one uh, I'll have to go back and see if maybe I missed something on this one and and, and maybe give it another shot I have a few times, but um, I think it's time to revisit this one. See, because this one's really good. I, 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 maybe I'm just wrong about this one, but hey, I'm wrong about a lot of things. So Friday night, be there, be square, all that stuff. Thank you again. Hit like, hit subscribe, and um, have a good morning, afternoon, good night, whatever time you're watching this. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, everybody.